Logic Pro for iPad 2 has three great new session players that you can use to create amazing sounds. So, wait a minute, five? Yes, in this video, we're going to go through all five of the new session players in Logic Pro for iPad 2. Now, before you jump into the comments and accuse me of clickbait, I get it. There is drummer, bass player, and keyboard player, but there's three different drummers. There's the acoustic, the electronic, and the percussionist, and we're going to go through all of those right now. To access session players, open a new Logic Pro for iPad project, tap on tracks, and here in the bottom right under session player, we now have drummer, bass player, and keyboard player. Let's start with a bass player by tapping on bass and then tapping in the middle there. And instantly we get a bass player. Now we can adjust all of these options and we're not going to go into a great deal of detail because I show that in another video. You can find that up there and down in the description. But we can dial in complexity, intensity. We can use a bunch of presets. We can use the details tab to dial in really specific sounds. And we can even create our own manual patterns to use with the bass player. For this demo, I'm going with Disco Slap because of course I am. I love a good slap bass. We're going to jump in here to the presets and I'm going to grab the ready, steady flow. It's going to sound like this. Let's add a keyboard player. We're going to hit the plus button in the top left. Under session player, we're hitting the drop down arrow here and tapping on keyboard player, tapping in the middle. And now we've got some keys to go along with our bass. Let's listen to what it brings up by default. Not bad, but we want something more funky to go with this funky slap bass. So how do we change things up? Like this. Now, because it's a funky track, we're going to tap here on the keys player. We want a simple pad. You can use freely broken chords, block chords, arpeggiated. You can change all of those same options just like you can with all of the other session players. And I cover the keyboard session player in another video linked up there and in the description. But we're gonna go with something simple here, a pad, and we wanna just bring these hands up a little bit here. And we're gonna change our instrument. Here's how to do that. In the bottom left here, we're going to tap on this button here that's going to take us into our browser. We're going to tap on instrument patches and I actually want an organ to make this a bit funky. So we're going to tap on our search button and type in organ. And there you have it. We can change this patch to our classic rock organ. To preview it, we tap over here. And to bring it in, we tap it and drag it and drop it on our track. Let's see if what we've created sounds cool. Not bad, and you'll notice here I've dropped the volume down there because we can mix as we go when we're creating a bit of a backing track here. Now it's time to dive into the drums. To add some drums, once again, tap on the plus button in the top left. We go to the session player. This time we're going to go to drummer and we're gonna tap in the middle here. This is going to add a drummer. By default, it's added an acoustic drummer. Let's see what sort of pop rock goodness we've had added in here. Not too bad, but I think we can do better. We want this to be a little more funky. So we're going to tap here on our drummer. We're gonna to go to a funk rock drummer by tapping there. Once again, we can adjust all of this. We've got a bunch of settings that we can change here in the main section. We've got a detailed section here. Let's just throw some ghost notes extra in here while we're there. And we can even do a manual pattern here. So maybe we want to do that. We can just go, we want a drum here. We want a kick drum and then a snare and then a kick drum and then a couple of snares and then back to a double kick drum. And you can get a really interesting unique pattern. Let's see if it works. Not quite, but I like where I'm going with this. So let's just remove that triple sort of machine gun snare there. I think it's going to work better like this. That's what we're looking for. All right, it's time to add our fourth and fifth session players. To do that, we're going to hit the plus button here in the top left, go to session player and tap on this one. It's going to be another drummer track. And you're saying, 
Pete, where's your percussionist? Well, it's under here. It's under the hood. We need to tap here where it says pop rock. And instead of just changing the style here, we need to tap at the top here and change it from acoustic drummer to percussionist. And before you tap off, here's the other trick. You need to tap Latin, pop, or songwriter. So I'm going to go with a pop because this is a funky song. I think we need a pop vibe. Now when we tap off, check this out. We've got three different pattern sections. So this works just like our regular drummer and I will cover this in detail in a future video. Make sure you're subscribed or if you're in the future, check the description. It'll be down there. So we've got options here. We've got cowbell. We've got cymbals. We've got all sorts of different percussive sounds that we can use and we can change up our patterns. So we can tap a bunch of different patterns here. We've got more percussion items here. We can tap each one and we can hit the patterns and change things up. We've got more percussion items here. We can put everything on. Let's just go all in on this one and just go with three different random patterns with this percussionist. Let's hit the preview button this time and see what it sounds like. I don't hate that. It's kind of funky. I think it'll sit under our beat nicely. Let's find out. Let's hit the play button. Now, obviously, we've gone with a lot of pretty complex stuff. We've added everything in here just to show you what's available there. You've also got fill amount and uh, fill complexity here, and you've got a details tab here. I cover this in a future video. You might want to check this one out, but you can basically control how much of each of these and how much complexity you actually want in each of these. So let's just make it all really simple. Let's just say we wanted a really simple sort of backbeat to go along with this. You see, as we bring all of that down, it simplifies things. Let's hit our preview button. Pretty cool, yeah? You've got the option to change that all up or we can just make it really complex and uh, the range here is cool because you can say sometimes make it complex, sometimes make it simple. So having these range sliders really helps out and it gives you some really unique sounds. Very cool. There is one more session player and that is our electronic drummer. To get to that one, we hit the plus button here. We go to session player, we choose drummer again and we tap on that one. This time we tap again on our drummer there. We change acoustic drummer and we turn it into electronic drummer. Now we've got a bunch more options here to choose from. We've got some modern 80s, synth pop, boom bop, all the rest of it here. For this one, I think we need some uh, modern 80s to go with this funky kind of jam. So we're going to choose that one. Let's say Sound. Let's see what this one sounds like out of the box. I don't hate it out of the box. And again, we've got three different pattern sections here. You can turn on and off the different elements here. If we wanted to say the sticks in there, we can turn those on. We can bring a shaker in here. You can add your hi-hats, your kick and your snare. Let's just say we didn't want the snare. We just wanted the kick. We can get a sound like this. and then bring it back in with the rest of our percussion track. So to do that, let's just solo this and our drums. We can get a cool kind of acoustic electronic sound like this. And because we've only gone with one snare, it's not really doubling up. We've got this simplified kind of backing track here with the percussion now and layering all threes of, three of these together, we get this. So you can see how you can quickly layer up some pretty cool and unique sounds using all five of these different session players here in Logic Pro for iPad 2. There you have it, Logic Pro for iPad 2 has not only your drums, your bass and your keys covered, but you can add some pretty cool percussion and the awesomeness of electronic drums over the top as well. I hope you found this one useful and interesting for your future projects. Check out the other videos down in the description and I'll see you next time.